Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm Dan. And Alice. And you're watching Plant Abundance on YouTube. Today is a commemorative day for us because we're getting ready to pull our largest single harvest ever off of one fruit tree since the inception of this backyard food forest design. Just take a closer look for yourself. This is absolutely amazing. Easily a thousand plus fruits hanging off this tree. Now this is the Aprium tree, which is a hybrid of apricot and plum. And this was created by Zager Genetics and grown by Dave Wilson Nursery. We purchased this from our local nursery and there's different options for this tree. They actually grafted onto different root stocks. This is a semi dwarf, which is about three quarters the size of a standard tree, but you can get it in a standard size. But I'm a big fan of this size tree. I did bring a ladder out with me today so I can get some of the fruits that are a little bit out of reach, but this is the largest I've ever allowed this tree to grow. Usually I keep it pruned down a little bit lower, but I really like the way this turned out. Hopping up on the ladder is not gonna be a big deal for me to get those top fruits, and we'll probably leave a few as well for the birds. Now, today is June 10th, 2020, and typically uh, these fruits are gonna ripen up on the aprium in our local area between, what is it, the, the 5th and the 15th or something like that. So, so let me pull one of these fruits off for you and show you a little closer look. Now, because we did allow this tree to hold so much fruit, we didn't do any thinning this year. The fruits are smaller, but they taste just as delicious. Mm. One thing I love about these apriums is the pit comes out so easy. So if you're doing any type of storage canning, any sort of processing to preserve freezing these, removing the pit and doing that's gonna take no time at all. Absolutely delicious fruit. And the tree is self fruitful, so it doesn't need a cross pollinator to get your fruit set. Although you will get a better harvest, a better fruit set if you have an apricot nearby, which we do. We have an apricot tree we've already harvested the fruits from. But yeah, no thinning of the fruits this year. And we were taking a little bit of a risk. I wanted to see just how well the tree would hold up, how many fruits it might drop on its own to self-balance. And this tree didn't really drop any fruit. I think maybe a couple I found on the ground. It held on to everything. And one of the main reasons we're having success with this heavy of a fruit set is because we did our due diligence up front and we allowed this tree over the many years that it's been developing to develop a nice strong structure. So I've always thinned prior to this year and because of that we got some nice strong branching which really helps with the tree holding up. There's very little wildlife damage this year. You can hear the birds in the background, they're around. Just a couple fruits that have been pecked into but the majority of the fruit is untouched. So we're thankful for that. Anyways, we're gonna get busy here and start pulling our harvest and see what we end up with. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The fruits are abundant. Now, apriums and apricots will continue to ripen once you pick them, so if you do get them just a little bit early, if you're trying to save your harvest from the wildlife, then you don't have to worry. You can just allow them to rest on the counter for a couple of days. But I'm a big advocate of always harvesting 100% ripe fruit when you can. That's when you're gonna get the best amount of nutrition, the highest sugar content, and the best flavor. Now these fruits this year are quite small overall, and that is because of the extremely large fruit set. In the past when I did thinning, the fruits got much larger. There's still some decent sized fruits here. I mean, either way, they're just perfect size to pop in your mouth and enjoy. I'm just leaving any of the fruits that are still green Because it's not a lot. So many 
there's still actually quite a few that are not 100% ripe. Still a little bit green. They're just a little bit sour. So we're going to leave actually quite a few fruit still hanging today, I think. Is there a second harvest? Oh, yeah. Probably a second and a third. So here's our harvest for today, and the tree still looks like we barely touched it. I'm guessing this is probably 30, 30 pounds. We'll weigh it, we'll see where we're at. All right, let's weigh this up, see what we ended up at. Okay, 20, 21 pounds. Felt like more than that. But we could say the basket weighs a pound. I know it doesn't weigh that much, but it's 20 pounds of apriums. And we probably got at least two more of those size harvests on the tree. So we should get well over 60 pounds altogether. Yeah, 